Hey, Coach, 2-1 uh, lost to Orange County. What did you tell the team right after the game? I told, I told them we were, we were better tonight than we were a couple weeks ago before we took our break. Um, practice has been sharp. The guys worked hard in the attack. I thought we had a few, a few more ideas and, and ran with a little bit more purpose up there. But uh, overall, we weren't, we weren't effective. We need to be more effective with the opportunities we have in the offensive third. And so we're disappointed. We need to come out with, uh, with points at home against even a great team. We need to get points at home, and we didn't do that. You mix up the, the lineup, especially with some of the uh, attacking players. How'd that go? Yeah, well, uh, David, I think, played well. Uh, you can see he likes to run behind the defense. He likes to he likes to go forward and get some shots off. So I was happy with that. He doesn't have the legs in him yet to go really probably more than 20 minutes. We even left him in there a little longer because he did a nice job. Tony did a nice job when he came in, too. We just have to be more effective. How do you, as a uh, former striker, help coach your team on finishing a couple of balls? Their keeper made a couple of good saves, but it seems like you put the pressure on a little bit. Yeah, I mean, as a former goal scorer, first of all, goal scorers are born and not really made. And so, so you know, you're refined, and we need to refine for sure. And, and David's there. Jace, a little bit behind David probably in his development from after his mission, but Jace is a fantastic forward as well. Um, so we're refining and putting him in front of the goal more and more and more at practice. Uh, so I think we're on the right track. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's the hardest thing to do in sports generally. And, uh, and those players who can finish are, are very special players who are well-known and, and have great scholarship offers and all those good things. So it's not easy to find them. How tough was it to uh, see an own goal and then a handball uh, call there in the 70s? Yeah, I mean, the own goal, you know, that's just bad luck. Actually, the mistake was made kind of biting on the, on the fake shot at the top of the box. We went past him and he had kind of an uncontested shot. Um, and then obviously bad luck there. I don't I don't lose sleep over bad luck. It's frustrating, but I don't lose sleep over. Um, the other one I'll probably lose a little sleep over because it didn't certainly didn't look like it hit his hand. I think their their, their players just protested real quick, and it, uh, it uh, you know the referee seemed to think it hit his hand. I I'm not sure. Uh, what kind of changes will you make uh, tomorrow night against SoCal? Well, we need to make we need to shore up our, our midfield a little bit. We were a little bit too. Uh, too back and forth with our midfield, those gaps for our opponent were, were, were too big. We gave them too many opportunities to carry into our end. So we need to keep our midfielders home a bit more and let them let the ball do the work.